Hi and welcome to the fourth video in my series of driving lesson videos where we're going to look at moving away up a hill and down a hill. So in the last video we had a look at how to move off but now we're going to do it like I say up a hill which is quite different. This is definitely quite a big hill in fact looking in the distance there there was a house on this road actually collapsed the other day uh, they had some building work going on the whole thing just fell down <laughs> so it proves it's on quite a steep hill because um, the house kind of fell over like that. Anyway Let's get back to the driving lesson for now. So, something I didn't mention in the previous videos is when you leave the car parked, and um, we'll cover this more when we do about pulling over and braking, but when you leave the car parked, do you know why you're always supposed to leave it parked in first gear? Like this, if you're going up a hill. Well, the reason is if the handbrake fails, let's just see what happens now. Imagine my handbrake fails. Oh, the gear has stopped the car from rolling backwards there. So it's important when you park going up a hill, I recommend always leave your car parked in first gear. If my car wasn't in first gear now, my car would be rolling back down the hill. It happened to me once in 2008 when I was sitting on a driving lesson um, and I was just talking to a man called Peter about roundabouts and this car smashed in the back of us. And um, it was actually someone who hadn't put their handbrake on properly and the car would roll down the hill. I jumped out of the car. Um, so I won't go on for too long on this story, I know you want to get the lesson done. But this car, there's no one in it, they left their handbag off when they got out and they came flying down the hill, smashed into me. So very important that whenever you park going up a hill, always leave your car parked in first gear. So if your handbag does fail, it won't go off. But do you remember from the last lesson, what do you need to do before you turn the car on? Well I need to make sure the handbag is on, so I don't roll back. And I need to make sure I'm not in gear. Again, I can turn on in gear if I hold the clutch down. I could leave that in first gear and turn, turn the car on now. But I'm not going to do that just for the moment. I'll explain in later videos why you may do that. So the handbrake's on, gear's in neutral. Let's get going. I'm going to turn the car on. Moving off up a hill then. Very similar to what we did before this um, on the last video. Like I say, slight difference. What we're going to do is, as in the last video, the moving off video, we go clutch down all the way over into first gear. We apply the gas, we bring the clutch up just the same as before for now. But the difference is you want the clutch biting point to be a little bit higher than before. So whereas before that was okay, I now want it to be there. So I've got more of a pull on the car. I also need more gas because otherwise I'm not going to get at the hill more accelerator. So I'm going to accelerate harder like that. Very important now, rev, rev, rev. I bring the clutch up, the revs are now about one and a half, quite high, bit over one and a half. Clutch comes up and the revs go down because that's the clutch taking the power away from the engine, taking it away. So it's all using it to turn the wheels. So you want it to be like that. If you look at the front of the car, it should lift quite a bit. So my clutch before on the flat, the moving around the flat road, the clutch biting point was only there. And if you haven't watched my other videos, you'll need to watch those first before this makes any sense. But I'm revving the gas, clutch up to there, that's a flat moving off. On an uphill, I need it to be there, higher. If I don't do that, when I go to move off, and what do I need to do, do you remember, before I move off? Where do I need to look? Yeah, minimum of middle mirror, right mirror, right blind spot. You can do more if you want looking left. You don't have to. There's nothing there at the moment now. There's a fence. No way anyone could be there. There's no people there behind me. So I do gas, clutch higher than before, but only about two millimetres higher on the biting point. So gas, clutch about there, do my checks. When I go, on the way, I won't indicate because these people I don't think will cross, so they actually say I will, because I might decide to cross the road like that. There you go. <laughs> exactly what I said. So, handbag comes off, clutch comes in really, really slowly, and off I go. And I pull over again and show you that again. Don't need to indicate now because no one's around behind. So that man, I didn't pay that man to walk over the road then, but that worked out really well. So yeah, sometimes you're not planning to indicate, then suddenly you may need to. So, what I did there was I had the biting point higher on the clutch by about two millimetres higher. When I went, I held the clutch still for about two seconds, then I brought it really slowly through the biting point like that, and that allowed you to move off on the hill. It's very similar to moving off on a flat, but harder because if you get it wrong you can easily stall uh, for example if your clutch is too low it will just roll backwards so again accelerator clutch up high like that so middle mirror right mirror right blind spot I don't think that woman's going to cross her I won't sit off her no one behind handbrake comes off 
lots of gas, then the clutch comes up slowly, very slow, and off I go. And I'm going to pull over again here. So again, like I said on other videos, it's much easier to do this in a real driving lesson. You'll get to feel the pedals pulling. But quite sim simply, sorry, to move off up a hill, you must have the biting point higher to begin with. So it's gas, clutch there. That's where it would normally be on the flat move off. It's higher, not that, not too high. You don't want to get this horrible straining, growl, almost stalling the car. That's, you know, trying to rip the handbrake to pieces, trying to pull against the handbrake. So we'll do gas, clutch one more time, checking around, no signal needed, off I go, lots of revs clutch really slowly up, and off I go. So that's moving off up a hill, I will go over that in more detail um, in future videos, because when we start doing things like um, you know, junctions and that, this will all come back then. I'm now going to do a quick turnaround, um, and then I'll park on the other side of the road, and I'll show you moving off down the hill. Okay, so here we are down the hill now. So down the hill is much easier than up a hill. All you do is you put the foot brake fully down. Now up till now we haven't used the foot brake, but this is a good way of introducing the pupil to the foot brake. You hold the brake down all the way, and it feels quite spongy. Now the reason we do this is we want to have more control. If I was to set the pedals like I could normally do, like this, and take the handbrake off, I'll go flying down the hill. So you don't need any power from the engine really on this. So what we do, so you put the foot brake on like that all the way down, fully down on the foot brake as far as it will go. We then release the handbrake. Now the difference is, why people say why do this, why not just take the handbrake off? If you just take the handbrake off, the handbrake is either on or off. You're going to go flying down the hill, probably run that little bird over. So with the foot brake, you can gradually ease off the brake and it gradually eases you into a roll. Not the biggest hill here, but it's fairly steep. So brake all the way down, if ever say brake by the way, I always mean the foot brake, so I just say brake for the foot brake, and so brake goes down, handbrake comes off all the way, clutch goes down, and it's first gear, you can do that before by the way, I normally would, so, so I normally I will go clutch down into first gear, brake down, handbrake off, it doesn't really make any big difference, um, as long as you don't actually move up to this point. When you learn to drive, as I said before, there are different ways you can do things and it will change the more into lessons we get. So towards the end of lessons I won't be doing anything like this and this is just a basic way of beginning. So where do I need to look again? Yep, yeah, mirrors, blind spot. Once I've done that I'll release the brake slowly. Let's do it again because it's been a while since I did that. Brake off roll, apply a little bit of gas if any is needed and clutch it fairly quickly. So you can stall when you can move off down the hill but it's much harder to do that. Um, because the hill is pulling you down, so I'm just going to pull over again there. It's quite hard to actually stall going down the hill. It's not impossible, but it, it can be done. So again, it's uh, the order, again, you don't get too obsessed with the order, as long as you don't move, that's the main thing. But I prefer to go, clutch down into one, foot brake goes on, brake that is, handbrake comes off, checking all around, mirror, middle mirror, right mirror, bl right blind spot, no need to indicate. Brake off all the way, slowly roll yourself to a nice roll, apply the gas, clutch it fairly quickly, watch how quick that clutch comes up, and off I go, like that. So I'll do it one more time, again braking don't worry about for now, we'll be looking at braking later on. So I'm going to go clutch down into first gear, brake all the way down, handbrake releases all the way, I'm holding the car still now with the front brake, mirrors, blind swap, I won't signal on this occasion, brake off roll, gas clutch go. You don't always have to do the gas of course, if the hill's that big it may be enough for the hill to pull you down on its own. So I'll pull up again on the left in a moment and that's all for today. It's a quite short but sweet lesson I'll sit in all case that car needs to know. Okay so there you go, so that's the end of today's lesson. That was just a short introduction to moving off up a hill and moving away down the hill. As I say we're we'll already doing a lot more than that in the future um, particularly when we start looking at things such as clutch control, we'll be returning to this topic. So as always, please visit my website, firstdrive.com. Please like the video, remember to rate it, to subscribe, like it, comment, whatever you want to do. And I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope you find these lessons useful. Um, I've made a few now and I'm starting to get some feedback, so I might remake some of them. But I just want to see how they go. It's just a bit of an experiment for me as much as for you. So hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon for the next lesson. 
where we're going to be looking at the gears so how to change up the gears okay so see you again soon for that